It's Friday, so again you get me. And this time I figured leopard print. So this week's topic is friendships versus relationships and well how you tell one from the other. Now this is something that I think a lot of aces find quite difficult to explain because you don't have the oh I'm sexually attracted to and that's the difference because we're not. But I don't think that should really come into play in romantic relationships because I know a lot of couples who aren't sexually attracted to each other. I mean, you can be in love with someone you're not sexually attracted to. You, it's quite common, actually. I mean, you tend to find, have you, like, you hear older married couples being like, oh, well, they might not be that attractive, but I love them. And it's quite a common thing. And I think people have forgotten that, that the two aren't intrinsically linked, even if you're sexual. Um, apart from that, I think that it's a bit silly to presume that sex is the be-all and end-all of relationships. I mean, you might say to an ace, oh, but you've not had sex with them, you're clearly not in love with them. But would you say that to somebody who's just putting off sex for, say, a year because they want to be sure about it? I mean, do they not love the person for that year? Or do they only truly start to fall in love with them when they've had sex? Because, I mean, that just turns it into this huge, magical, wondrous thing, and that is such a problem. I mean, it shouldn't really be that much of a deal. It should just be one of those things that is inconsequential and just kind of happens, I guess. But yeah, so I do think sexual attraction should be defined separately anyway. That might just be me. So what can I say about the difference between friendships and relationships? Well, I guess I think one defining factor of any form of love, be it friendships, family, whatever, is that a big deal of it is that you want to make the other person happy um, and it makes you happy that they're happy and I think that's probably the defining thing of love and I think that's why it's so difficult to tell different kinds of love apart because they all have the same defining factor but I guess a good example that I'm kind of ripping off from my philosophy studies of Mill's utilitarianism here but Imagine that you have, you love having, reading a really, really good book and it makes you very happy and you get a lot of enjoyment out of it. And at the same time, you really, really enjoy having a really good gourmet meal. And, you know, they're both really different things, but you get the same amount of pleasure out of either of them. But it's kind of a different kind of pleasure. One has one quality, one has another. But if asked to describe it, you just, you know, you'd struggle. It's just, they're just different. One is one thing and one is another. And I think my view on friendships and relationships is like that. It's got this kind of this indescribable quality that differentiates one from the other. But, you know, it's not that you enjoy one more than the other. It's not that you would rather do one than the other. It's just they're very different and maybe appropriate for different times. So, like, with a book and meal thing... Um, if I'd had a really, really long day, I'd want to come in and read a book. If I was out with a bunch of friends, I'd want a really nice meal. And they're both applicable to different situations, but it doesn't mean one's better than the other. Since I think a lot of the things that people define relationships by are just very personal anyway. I mean, I when I was dating one of my exes, I didn't spend that much time with them in public. Like, we went to a huge party and I spent most of the night with my friends in a corner. He spent most of the night with his friends doing something else. Um, and yeah, occasionally I'd get dragged over and be introduced to people and vice versa, and maybe we'd have a nice chat in between or something. But we spent a lot more time with respective groups of friends because we knew we cared about each other and it didn't matter that we weren't there constantly. Um, whereas I have a best friend who, if his girlfriend did that, would be really kind of a bit miffed because he likes having her around. So I guess each relationship has its own promises anyway. So you can't say, oh, that couple isn't doing that, they're not in love, because... It's kind of a person, different people have different ideas. So, I mean, I think, I mean, one of the things I tend to see people trying to describe by is the amount of affection that you share between the two. I'm, I'm a terrible flirt. I'm absolutely awful. And I tend to find you can't judge with me how much I like you or how, by, like, how affectionate I am with you. I mean, yes, if I like you as a friend, I will be terribly affectionate with you, but it doesn't mean anything to me. I mean... I'm incredibly touchy-feely, I like cuddles, I like attention in that way, um, but I wouldn't say that's what makes a defining factor for a relationship or a friendship with me, I mean, I'm probably as affectionate to my best friends a lot of the time as I am with the person I'm dating, I mean, 
generally I wouldn't kiss my best friends or anything like that because they're my best friends and that might be a little weird considering one of them's like my brother but at the same time I don't think the fact that I show affection in one way should be used as a defining factor again with the whole oh, with your boyfriend you'll act in such a way or, you know again it's a very personal thing and how you act so I guess the big thing that I'm saying in my very long-winded way that you should have got used to by now is that the only person who can really define relationships and friendships is you and the person you are in the relationship with I mean to you being in a relationship could be as it well to me being in a relationship is when you have time and you kinda want them around then you have them around they don't mind when you're around with your friends and you're affectionate with your friends in fact they try and get on with your friends as well you are both willing to try something new to make the other person happy you kind of want attention off them but you know not all the time you would spend time with them alone and you'd probably you know be slightly closer with them then than you would be with another friend um, and I think that is just how I'd say it was like as I said, I have a friend who, to him being in a relationship, is spending a lot of time around the girl, um, doing little romantic things for each other. I mean, I'm not a, I am a hopeless romantic, but I'm not a traditional romantic in that. I, I, I'm not good at that kind of thing. Um, whereas he's the kind that will write poetry and leave flowers, and that to him is what makes a relationship, but to me, that's not necessary. Um, and I guess that's how you have to say it, that if you and your partner think you're in a relationship, you're in a relationship. Um, and what anybody else says is just lots of crap because it's not up to them who you date and it's not up to them how you define a relationship um, so yeah that's pretty much all I've got to say on this topic so I will see you all next week then